uh, the car is not going to be able to do any of it. Okay, okay. There you go, going through quite a bit there. And auto steer is aborting. Welcome everybody to Tesla Driver and a very, very wet start to 2024. I hope everyone had a good end of the year in 2023. And it looks like we're starting 2024 with incredible storms here. So I don't know if you can see, but the river banks on the right here have all completely burst. We're gonna see a few things here. How does autopilot handle these type of things? Uh, how does the auto wipers work now? So we're on auto wipers rather than uh, me controlling them because there's been a lot of complaints about the auto wipers and we're going to regulate the speed ourselves so obviously i'm going to be in full control here as much as i can we're in the middle of loads of water here it's coming up onto the screen so you can see there obviously autopilot's not going to cross onto the other side of the road uh, so we're going to have to do that ourselves and it, it doesn't seem to slow down when it comes uh comes to a big body of water uh, so we've got to keep our eyes on the road and obviously slow ourselves down as well this is actually my favorite type of weather i love this okay we've got loads of floods here i don't know if you can kind of see this in the in the camera but this whole road here has completely flooded the car's not going to stop itself i'm going to stop here and um let the car let this other car come through wow we did have uh, so this is a, a yellow weather warning um no sorry it was a, it was a yellow weather warning yesterday and it is now an amber warning uh, for rain and for flooding so obviously through these kind of roads uh, the car is not going to be able to do any of it and this guy's flashed me on so that's very nice of him so we're going to stay over here further on the right where it's a little bit more shallow you can see here the sensors as well are all red but we can see the central line, and as long as we stay more in the central line, we should be okay. Wow, that is really, really wet. My gosh, it's still very wet down here as well. I guess this is probably when you don't want to be in the performance version of the car that is the lowest version of the car. And we'll put autopilot back on here as the water's not as bad. So we've got a car on our side of the road which i don't think the tesla it didn't really react to there you go it stopped us there at the end but i would have expected it to have stopped a little bit earlier for that to be honest and given us a bit more room but this is obviously the problem with using just a vision based system is you're relying just on the view of the cameras and as you can tell you know the back camera it, i don't believe it can really make much out on that back camera uh, the front camera that the wipers are on that should be okay Here's a big puddle. It's not going around the puddle, so I'll take the car around the puddle. Wow, this is uh, this is treacherous driving, but this is definitely my favorite type of weather. So I used to be a huge off-roader. I actually had a YouTube channel called Wilts 4x4, uh, and we all used to have modded Land Rovers, uh, Jeep Cherokees, Pajeros, and of course, I had my Hummer H2. Uh, which I took off-roading every now and then which weirdly wasn't very good because it didn't fit in any of the ruts here in England So here we go. We've got another kind of puddle here. Is the car gonna go around the puddle at all? I'm just looking on the screen to see it doesn't seem like it will do so I'm gonna have to pull it off because this goes quite deep here on the left And we're just gonna have to go on the other side of the road and of course this is something that autopilot and self-driving in general is is gonna have to is gonna have to figure out uh, because it is it's incredibly hard for a, a, a person to drive through these like a lot of people probably wouldn't go through some of these and just turn back because if you can't find the middle of the road see that road down there that looked completely shut oh my god there's a car on the left here that's completely gone in wow look at that okay okay oh my god that car has completely completely gone in i guess this was really bad earlier as well oh my <laughs> well this is definitely an interesting drive i mean so far the wipers have, have been fine they've stayed on um and i guess that's all they kind of need to do in this scenario again here with big puddles i just kind of want it to bring itself over oh 
oh, rather than going through all of these puddles. But obviously the car is not doing that. The wipers now have almost stopped. They've gone way too slow. They need to turn on and go faster, in my opinion. Uh, you obviously could do all of that manually, but... Okay, we've got another big body of water here. This car behind me is sniffing my ass, and I'm surprised because it's so wet. Like I said, I think this is... Someone's gone in there as well. There's his tyre. Wow. I think this is called Storm Brett or Storm Brun or something like that. And it's the first storm of the year. We had two storms at the end of 2023. Like now, I need the wipers to, to be faster, to be totally honest. And the auto wipers, they just aren't reacting in time. Autopilot is fine. It's, it's happy. It's not said it's got reduced visibility, which I'm really surprised by. And it's keeping very true to the middle of the road. Um, but I would like my wipers on about three, which is about this setting, just so that it's kind of constantly wiping. You can hear and see there as the car's pulled slightly into the water, how it reacts. So I've come over to this side because look at all of this. I, could, I don't know if you can see because of the width of the camera, but all of this is flooded either side. It's like we're driving through a lake here. Uh, it's actually quite cool. So the car's slowing down for the roundabout itself, but it will not do the roundabout itself. So I need to pull it off here. And we're gonna head this way and we're actually gonna go along the river and we're gonna see how much the river has burst its banks down here because I assume this is probably going to be where the uh, the river has burst its backs the most. Just adding this in while I'm editing, you can see the road right here is actually closed the next morning. So we're about to head down that road. You can see on the left that is completely closed. We had more rain in the evening. That flooded that road completely. There was a car crash here as well. You can see the signs on the right indicator or repeater camera. Uh, they've knocked down the sides in the middle of the road. So they decided to completely close that road. But we are about to go down it in the main video. I thought I'd just leave this in here to show you what the dash cam records, uh, how deep it is. And it's just quite cool camera angles to be honest of driving through a flooded road so enjoy these and then we'll head back down that road that is currently closed let's see see if we get some cool cool shots here so even this it looks like there's a lot of water on the road this isn't too bad to be honest that apply light turning force nag it definitely happens every time there you go going through quite a bit there and auto steer is aborting so it, it didn't like that it auto, uh, auto bought, uh, aborted due to a system error, which is quite interesting. I've not actually, I've not seen it come up with that before. So we got our first ever system error, and now I wonder if that's because when the water came up, it completely blocked that left camera and a bit of the the middle camera as well. Oh here, big puddle here. Slow right down. Oh my gosh. All over the screen. Wow. Okay, so autopilot there was trying to pull us across into the middle of the road. And now it's not liking it because we're close to the left-hand side of the road. It's complaining. Again here, big puddle, so it's slowing down. Slow that down for there. I guess when this actually is full self-driving, so this car's currently running the full self-driving capability, which comes with uh, a few extra, a few extra features. See, it's, it's just not going far enough away from the left-hand side of the road for me. I'd like it to pull over more to the right here, but of course it won't go over the line. So it's kind of in a, in a strange game with itself here as well. Big, big puddle. I'm going to have to go around this. Now this is where the Cybertruck would be absolutely brilliant. So, you know, if you're looking for a use case for the Cybertruck, this would definitely be the use case for it. But I just, uh, I realistically don't think, again, we got another puddle here. The car's not gonna stop for it. So we just have to work our way around. I genuinely think the Cybertruck will, would be amazing at this kind of stuff, obviously, but it's just not gonna come to the UK. Uh, it definitely won't in its current form get through regulators and stuff look at this this is incredible so on either side of me should be fields of green like, look at that look at it it's all water the car 
car's keeping nice and true as well, sticking, sticking comfortably. To that corner nicely. And this doesn't look too bad. So actually I came here last year, no, maybe two years ago in my Model X. Uh, and this again, all of this was underwater. So this doesn't look too bad. And of course, with all this wet and wind, the trees are the next big danger. Look at this, you can literally see like waves coming on the field there. I think this under, this tonight, if it carries on, this will all be completely flooded. You won't be able to use this road. They did shut this road completely. No one's working uh, on the building site. I do not blame them at all. And we're gonna bring this right down. So this cone here looks like it's in the road. It is in the road and the car was not going around it and it was not stopping for it. So we'll just go around it ourselves. And here, so this is what um, the full self-driving in the UK will do. It will literally stop for these stop, uh, for the lights, stop signs, and it will also go on lights and stop signs, but that's, that's about it. Again, these auto wipers, they allow a lot to accumulate on the window before they seem to want to turn on. Oh, we got a gusher here of water coming from these fields. It's basically a slalom. We're basically doing a, a slalom here around. Okay, so let's wipe that off. Yeah, the wipers, the wipers just need a bit more oomph, but then when it's dry, the wipers need to stop because sometimes the wipers come on when there's hardly anything there. And like now, I'd like it to wipe now. Anytime now. Sometime, there we go. It's just a little bit more delayed, so. I think I'm just gonna stick it on number two for now because then at least that goes down and then comes back. Just gives it like a second wait rather than just waiting for five to 10 seconds. That's just too long uh, in this type of weather. Oh man, okay, we've got another big one here. Wow, look at this, it's so muddy as well. It's like brown. It's literally brown across the roads as it comes across here. Look at this, this is a quite incredible. And look at the speed that it's coming across. It's a real wave that's kind of pushing it across here. Again, back onto these roads, the car will do fine until it gets to a point with water like this, and it just, it won't slow down for it. With a, with a lead car, it might do it, well, it will do it slower, but again, it's just not gonna cut across the road like this. So there's not really much more I can show you of this today. <clears throat> Don't use autopilot in these um, conditions. Don't use auto wipers in these conditions either, I guess. I'd say that tree there just fallen down. Don't know if you saw that. That tree totally come down. Um, because if it does get too bad, the car will just kind of go straight at it. Now, Elon did say the car is like a boat or something about being a boat. But as I've uh, learned over the last five, six, seven, eight, nine years, I wouldn't believe everything Elon says, especially when it comes to your nice car. So with that being said, we're gonna end the video. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'll go out and do more stuff when it's not quite as bad. Oh God. It's bad everywhere though down here at the moment. Hopefully this clears up and I'll get some more videos done. Until then, thank you for watching, drive safe.